Hi everyone. I just wanted to give you a little update on how the Dinky RC setup has came along for me. It's kind of a pain to install. And these links here, they didn't really want to cooperate all that great. Uh, I went out earlier today and my first predicament that I've had out of them was this rod here popped out from up here. Now I noticed when I got them in, it seemed a little crooked from the box or out of the package. <clears throat> I didn't really think nothing of it. But then after I got it back and realized what had happened, took it apart, wound up screwing them all the way down as far as they go into the ends there. Um, my only other issue that I've had really is it's not really a very heavy truck. It's not exactly a light truck. But they pretty much full droop all the time. And I noticed another thing when I'm trying to climb uphill and it sits there and just wants to do this the whole way up. Winds up make, throwing me off balance and I just topple down. Looks wise, it's pretty cool. In the end, I'll be able to take these off and have my hard body sit flush down on the chassis. But performance wise, I gotta figure that out yet. It's not so great in stock form. And I would suggest, anybody else will too, fully disassemble and reassemble with Loctite. Or thread lock, I mean. Because I tightened them up initially. I knew I'd probably have to do this, but already they're loose. I don't know if you can really see it or not. Yeah, they're a bit loose. On the other note, got a little more done with the hard body. Got the camper shell painted on it. Ordered up a bunch of LEDs. We're gonna have this thing outfitted out like a fully dressed up semi. I have them all across the top here, some here, here, on the sides. I'll actually make this functional. Um, I was on Shapeways and I ordered these little marker pieces for the Hoy Fab Crawlers dually bed sides. I'm going to take them I managed to try and fit one in there. I'll also try and fit one in there. And that's how I'll make that one usable. Um, while I was on there, I ordered, also ordered the Ampros tail light replacement lens and housing for the LEDs instead of having to drill a hole and have some LEDs sticking partially out looking kind of funny and not looking right or go through the extensive hassle 
of cutting some acrylic and bending and scraping to make it look more realistic and all that. Uh, I don't think I plan on doing a full interior. I think I'm just going to kind of black it out and use it to house the extra electronics because with this body on it's not really going to be crawling too much up hills and most well, steep hills um, on putting four yellows two on each side and two spots white spots in the center I've got some warm whites that go in the headlights I have thought about possibly making the breather look functioning but other than that that's about as far as I've gotten there I also got some iron and rust antiquing paint and solution coming so I'll wind up weathering this and making a little more details to it a little cooler um, yes I left the breather on there but that is because I'm kind of inspired by the Asian farm truck. That thing is crazy fast. But this one's not going to be made for speed. It's just going to really look kind of cool. Uh, I might wind up doing a full interior if I get to that far. But other than that, about where I'm at so far. Oh, also. That's just about a month on these wheels. No actual puddles, just wet grass, maybe some wet dirt. Let me know what you think, guys. I know I kind of uh a lot, and this is my first video, but other than that, uh, have a good day.